Welcome, my name is Jean-Yves. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the main features of Galigio. Galigio comes with enterprise-grade security features, so you always remain in control of your data. The client is web-based, allowing any user from any platform to access the software without installing anything. Once in the application, you can use the intuitive controls to go around the map, explore the data, drill up, drill down, and make the best out of all this information. The level of aggregation is configurable, and the extent of the data shown depends on the profile used. The various map controls allow the user to pan and zoom around the map very quickly, for example using this mini-map, or using the various controls available on the right here. For example, with this Zoom In tool, we will go closer from a very specific area, allowing us to see in more details uh, all the region. In addition to the map controls, the user interface offers multiple tools, site selection, advanced visualization, measures, exo distance, street view, search, bookmarks, printing, geo reports, selections, legend, or backup save. The left panel let user control which layer is visible and if it's available, let them filter according to various criteria. Gedijo comes with a wide range of base maps, allowing for various angles for the analysis. For example, a base map with a satellite view, allowing to zoom and view in details on the buildings of the area. It comes also with Bing maps, Bing satellite view, as well as Bing hybrid view. Using the bookmark tool, you will be able to record your current position in order to access it again later and go back to this location. The Bing search functions let users search for a street or a city name and access it directly from the map. Here we have two different options. We can zoom and select the one we prefer, letting us focus on this area instantly. The Street View tool lets user display the Google Street View from any point on the map, as long as the location is supported. This is a very useful tool in the case of site selection, that way, the user can figure out what the location looks like, where are the shops, where are the competitors. Another useful feature is the measuring tool. Using the measuring tool, users will be able to measure areas, perimeter, superficy, and distance of various drawings they are making on the map. Here, we're going to measure the area of this uh, unbuilt section of the city. We're creating a polyline, and by double-clicking, we will make and the system calculate the superficy and the perimeter. This can be adjusted later, and the result is displayed instantly. Of course, we can show the distance by drawing polylines, like the distance from this area until the next SkyTrain station. Now using the bookmark, we are back to our original location. We are now logged in as an author or editor user, which has the ability to edit the documents and decide which data is displayed and which way it is displayed. A thematic is a way of representing the data on the map. In this example, we are representing with a gradient of colors the various values of sales performance per area. Each value can be represented with multiple parameters, colors, stripes, transparency. By modifying these colors, we're going to modify the representation of the data on the map. Some tools help for creation of the gradient, which let users control more accurately the colors and the rendering. 
As you can see, the transparency level of each layer can be accurately controlled in order to choose which data to put in highlight or not. There is a great number of ways in which the data can be represented. In addition to that, we can use, for example, graduated symbols to represent the variation of some data. The graduation can be done with the color of the size of the symbol. For example, here the population. Here are a few more examples of those representations we can do. Symbols, labels, grids that we call smart grid in the case of Galileo. But also POIs such as competitors. Each POI can be clicked and the details of the area can be displayed in a pop up. Finally, Galileo supports a very big number of POI in the same time. This is very useful to understand the complexity and the various parameters of the area around the zone studied. Coming next is the representation of pie charts. Pie charts actually allow for three dimensions to be represented in the same time. The first one, of course, is the location of the data. The second one is the breakdown of the data represented with these three colors. And the size of the pie chart itself represents another KPI. One of the key features of Galileo is the bidirectional interaction. This is particularly visible with the selection tool. Here, we are demonstrating how we can select several areas. First area with a circle, then with a rectangle or a polyline. Each selection is summarized in the table that is demonstrated here. Colors of the selection can be changed for better visibility. And all the data is summarized in this table, can be averaged, some maximized, minimized, and reordered in ascending or descending order. Selection can be merged and, more importantly, used as filter in reports. In this case, we are using the selected districts in an Excel report that is downloaded on the computer of the user. This Excel report is completely customizable. Another very useful tool is called Area Analysis. In this case, we are demonstrating area analysis with crow fly distance calculation, but the drive time and drive distance calculation is also possible. After selecting the ranges for calculations, the area will be calculated and drawn on the map. These areas can be used to create selections on any levels that the user wants. For example, here we can extract all customers living between 5 and 10 km from a branch. Heat map is a very intuitive way of showing the density of data on the map. It is possible for the report author to prepare this heat map in advance, or, like in this case, we can let the user play around with the parameters. In this example, we are using heat map to show the density of the B2C business in the one area. User can play around with the transparency of the hotspots or of the heat map itself. The amount of data represented can be quickly overwhelming. Multiple points can be overlapping with each other and render the visibility very low. The clustering tool helps represent this large number of locations without overlapping. The grouping or clustering can be controlled using several parameters such as the size of cluster areas and each cluster can be exploited by a simple mouse hover. Galigio also allows business to use location intelligence for more operational purposes. For example here, Galigio is used to help sales team optimize their work. A tablet-optimized version of Galigio is available for them to see where their prospects are 
and suggest a route from their current location to their next prospect. This application is touch enabled and can be completely customized according to the need of the business. An example of this customizability is this tablet application. In addition to the standard features, some filters have been added. In this case here, Gettigio is interfaced with the company's online CRM. Sales representatives can manage their agenda, report about their visits, and better plan their next move. Another operational tool from Galigio is a territory management tool. The territory management tool has been developed to help managers intuitively design, analyze, and balance their territories. Territories can be automatically generated or manually drawn. Multiple functions allow users to add, remove parts of the territory, and manage overlapping. Aggregated data is shown and updated dynamically for each territory during the design process. Thanks to this function, Section of the territories can be selected, then moved from one territory to another with a simple drag and drop. This allows the manager to balance territories according to the KPI he cares about, be it the number of customers, the population, the number of branches or salesmen. These territories could be trade areas, sales territory, delivery zones or service areas, for example. That's all for today. Thank you for your time and do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.